For hole 8, there are various ways that you can play this shot. Here, this was before we even did the tournament and I was messing around with um, trying to find a good way to play this hole. Here I did play with a plus 15% uh, over adjustment, I believe, but I was trying to basically bounce it over. So um, this is pretty much a way that you probably don't want to play this hole, but I mean, it's fun to try and um, clip the rough and roll onto the green. So you can do a overpower max um, bounce over shot if you so choose. So I did play with a plus 15% adjustment on this, pushed up to max and then tried to bounce it over. So this is an option that you can uh, use to uh, play this hole, but it is a very risky shot to play. The end bringer is going to play the closer you are, it's going to basically kind of be like normal. You don't have to adjust much, but the further away you are, you're going to play at the 20% method and then you're going to add 10% on top of that. So the end bringer shot should play around 30% the further back you are. So if you don't have a Thor 6 or 7, I suggest packing a big topper for this hole on tour play. Um, you're going to basically do max top spin and you're going to double bounce it over the hole. So here um, I'm basically kind of aiming um, where the second bounce is going to be just before the rough line. And then I'm going to adjust my shot with a plus 15% over adjustment of my shot. So the same would be done with a big topper as well. So when you have a headwind, it's easier to do the double bounce over method than it is to do the single bounce method. So here um, I did the double bounce. I adjusted with a plus 15% over adjustment of my shot with max topspin. And I'm just trying to get it to go over and as close to the green as it possibly can. So here I just played at the slider of my club. Um, since it was a tailwind, it wasn't a hard shot to do, but you should play this at the slider of your club with a plus 30% over adjustment of your shot. So for this next shot in a headwind, I decided to try a layup shot just to see what would happen. So I didn't use any backspin or side spin. I trusted my ball guide. Um, I'm basically trying to lay, uh, lay up right before uh, the rough line ahead and just over adjust my shot with a plus 15% over adjustment. For the second shot, I played at the slider of my club with a plus 10% over adjustment. Um, I, since I just barely missed this, I do believe it plays at actually at a plus 15% elevation um, in a smaller wind. And in a bigger wind, I would say over seven to eight miles an hour, I would do a plus 20% over adjustment of your shot. So again, smaller wind, do a plus 15% at the slider of your club and a larger wind, do a plus 20% over adjustment of your shot. If you have a Thor 6 or 7, you can do the single bounce over as well. I suggest using a power 3 ball like a Titan or a Kingmaker for the shot. Doing max uh, top spin, I'm doing two right spins so that I hit that rough. I'm basically going to line up to where my second bounce is going to be hitting the rough. And then I'm going to over adjust my shot with a plus 15% over adjustment at max distance of my club. So again, this is the single bounce meth method of bouncing over and this is going to put you into a nice end bringer range.
So here, since I was so close, I just basically eyeballed the adjustment, but you do want to play probably a plus 30% um, over adjustment of the end bringer if you are further back. So again, guys, remember, hit perfect, happy golfing, and good luck.